A reading from the 23rd chapter of the Gospel of Luke. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How many of you have had days, especially over the last year, that just felt like they were never going to end? Perhaps there was a crying baby to attend to first thing in the morning and an older child refusing to go to bed at night. And there were countless activities in between that led you to the point of complete exhaustion. Or maybe it wasn't other people in your family who tired you out, but rather an unending string of Zoom meetings that made your eyes glaze over and your joints stiffen by the time you hit the pillow you were completely exhausted, even though your step tracker somehow said you only did 723 steps. Long days come in many shapes and sizes, but the result is the same. Exhaustion and that feeling of just wanting a break. Jesus' last words from the cross in the Gospel of Luke are at the end of a long day, and that's perhaps the understatement of all time. He has suffered, been mocked, been abandoned, and is on the brink of death. And all this after an extensive ministry of healing and feeding and teaching before that, and a week of triumphal entry into Jerusalem that has now turned to this, the crucifixion. He is no doubt exhausted, and the words he chooses here reveal something beautiful. These final words, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit, are taken from Psalm 31, verse 5, with Jesus adding the fatherly address of God as an addendum. This Psalm 31 verse into your hands I commend my spirit, was a prayer that every Jewish mother taught her children to say at night right before bed. Some of you may have learned the Christian prayer, now I lay me down to sleep. These prayers are spoken as comfort before the frightening darkness of a night that descends on children. We still speak these prayers sometimes to remind ourselves that the night does not last forever and that the Lord God watches over us as we sleep. Morning will come again. Jesus speaks these words from the cross knowing that the death which he faces imminently will not have ultimate power over him. Morning will come again, and resurrection will have the last word. As we wait patiently and hopefully on this, the vigil of Easter night, for the joy that we know is to come in the morning, we commend our spirits to the Lord God in hope and anticipation of that Easter miracle. May God protect us this night, watch over our sleeping, and bring us to everlasting joy as we rise with Christ in the morning. Amen.